in Tonganoxie. Over the years, the fans at Allen Fieldhouse have seen everything. But tonight, while they'll be suffering from double vision, the Stewart twins will be thinking about double doubles for USC and Kansas. Welcome everyone to Allen Fieldhouse, the venerable edifice ready to rock tonight. A sellout crowd, the 79th consecutive one, a crowd of over 16,300 on hand to watch Kansas take on USC. Kansas coming in at 6-2, the Trojans at 5-1. and one. Hello everybody, I'm Mark Jones along with Fran Fraschilla. Thanks for coming aboard. This is the 13th meeting between these two sides. Now Fran, for USC it's the first road game of the year, their toughest test of the season. Kansas already has experienced tremendous highs and tremendous lows. Well, if Bill Self were a game show host, he'd call this who's showing up because one week they beat Florida, next week they lose to DePaul, and it, nobody knows it's a talented but mercurial group that's still trying to find an identity. And they are coming off, Kansas, a loss in Chicago over the weekend at the hands of DePaul. Here's a look at our star watch. Well, one of the twins, Modric Stewart, excellent deep shooter. He's a left-hander, and for Kansas, an outstanding freshman from Dallas, Texas, Durrell Slim Shady Arthur. <laughs> we alluded to the twin story at the top of the show, Roderick Stewart. Roderick will be coming off the bench for Kansas, and here's a look at the starters. Kansas with a very young team this year. That therein may be part of the issue that they have right now. Three sophomores, a freshman and a junior making the start. Meanwhile, USC getting good work from Nick Young this year. He's their leading scorer coming in at 16.5 points per game. Tim Floyd told his team that this is going to teach us a lot about who we are tonight. Their first road test of the season. They've won five games in a row, and Bill Self says that they're trying to figure out who they are as well. They've got to get better tonight. That is the task at hand. He wants them to focus in on the process and not think so much about the final result. There's a look at our officials, and we are underway. USC with possession and another jump ball. Well, the absolute key for the Trojans tonight is to take care of the basketball. Freshman point guard Daniel Hackett will have that assignment. Tim Floyd's team hasn't lost since the season opener at home against South Carolina. Jai going to be jumping against Arthur. One key for Bill Self, Mark, is to get Brandon Rush going. Only three points in the loss to DePaul. He knocked down a three early in the game and went 37 minutes without a field goal. And here we go again. It's going to be Robinson up for it for Kansas in the white. We'll see very solid 19 feet and in man-to-man -man defense from USC. They will try to shut out Rush and Chalmers. Right with an elbow jump shot. One and done at the offensive end. Rebound by Gibson. Right will get as many jumpers as he wants to take tonight from that Trojan defense. Try to back off. Try to get off early. Here comes Hackett. Jai won't look at the basket to score much. Tipped out of bounds. It'll be USC basketball with 19 on the shot clock. What style of offense will we see out of the Trojans tonight? And well, Tim Floyd. the key for, for USC, unfortunately, because of the freshman point guard, they get very little in transition, very little off their defense, so they're going to have to be extremely efficient in the half court. On the baseline to Young. Cut off nicely by Rush. Six on the shot clock for the Trojans. Time to get to work. It's knocked out of bounds and turned over. Kansas basketball. And Mark, while Kansas has been up and down offensively, don't forget this team guards very well. Last year, number one in the country in field goal defense, and that hasn't changed much this season. Up top, it's right. Looking inside for Arthur. Double teamed on the catch, and he turns it over. A three-second violation. It'll be USC basketball. Interesting, friend, that they elect to oh, trap the big fella down low. Well, what they did was they played way off of right at the top of the key, and Gibson did double-team Arthur. That's what we talked about. They're going to give up those jumpers. And USC almost turns it over again. 
Gibson into Jai. Jai fouled by Arthur. I'm not sure that you want to foul Jai. That's a great point. He's not a scorer. He's improved, but he's an outstanding defender, rebounder. Just remember, Mark, now it's early in this game, but USC's point guard problems have already been solved for the foreseeable future with O.J. Mayo, <laughs> the number one player in the country, on the way next year. Not only that, they signed up Brandon Jennings, who from Oak Hill Academy. Verbally committed. He'll be here in two years. Look at that. Uh, Jai. Abdullah Jai knocks down just his fourth free throw of the year. That says it all that the big fellas only gone to the free throw line mm -hmm. five times in all. Won't get a lot of touches, but an outstanding shot blocker. Makes two. Tim Floyd talked about this young team going on the road. Four freshmen in the top six or seven. Spoke to Nick Young prior to the game at midcourt, and he told me that our freshmen are going to have to turn into sophomores, maybe even juniors tonight. Mm -hmm. Might be asking a lot in this kind of hostile environment. The baseline, Robinson picks it out. Plenty of time on the shot clock, and Kansas turns it over again. That all started, Mark, because Brandon Rush passed up a jumper, and that's something Bill Self is trying to get the young man going. Remember, he was first, the first freshman ever to be all Big 12 last year, and he passed up the jumper, and it really took their offense out of sorts. One of his brothers in attendance watching tonight. A very gifted athletic family. And USC with the lead, 2-0. Just underway here at Allen Fieldhouse in Lawrence, Kansas. USC has won its last five games in a row. This is Daniel Hackett. Came to USC after his junior year. Feeds it into the corner. Jump shot off the mark. Out of bounds. And it'll be USC basketball. And you're right. Remember, USC tragically lost Ryan Francis, the outstanding freshman point guard a year ago. Murdered this May. Gibson had it knocked away underneath. Both teams a little sloppy. Disconcerted at the offensive end. Here's Kansas. Chalmers launching and connecting. He is the one guy that is fearless. He does it on both ends. And rejected up top, Arthur. But there's a foul called as Daniel Hackett ends up on his wallet. He'll go to the free throw line for a pair. Took it in there fearlessly, though. Well, the freshman from St. John Bosco, you see the block up top, the body below. But, Mark, you made the point that he was in the class of 2007 when Ryan Francis was murdered in May. And it was a, a, a tragedy for everybody in the Trojan family. He took four classes this summer. I happened to see him in Las Vegas playing AAU basketball. <laughs> where he played on a great AAU team, but he felt he could come to USC this year and help this team. And he's not a pure point guard, but he's got a lot of moxie. A good size at 6'5". Interesting story. Grew up in Italy where his father, Rudy, who's on the coaching staff of mm -hmm. USC, played professionally. Uh, Daniel told me before the game he was a ball boy for the local Italian club. Mm -hmm. Grew up watching Manu Ginobili and Marco Yarich, a couple of present NBAers playing basketball. And we'll remind people later of who Rudy Hackett is. I know you know that name. <laughs> Sasha Khan checks into the ball game for Kansas. See the double teams. Chalmers again. Looking at the official for the call, won't get it. This is a Pac-10 crew. And Hackett got swallowed up in the middle, fortunate to get it back. Young now. Stewart. Nick Young with 18 on the shot clock slows things down a little bit. Nice move inside. And Jai, just when I said he's not looking to score, he's the game's high scorer with four. Well, much improved from a year ago. The young man from College of Southern Idaho. Here's Wright on the baseline. Nice soft touch off glass. Julian Wright trying to get off early. He's coming off a 12-point game. And the loss at DePaul, and not a very fortuitous homecoming for the guys from Chicago. Sometimes Julian Wright is too unselfish. He's such a good passer. Young got it rejected by Chalmers. Another defensive play. Two on one with Robinson. Chalmers with the layup. Mario Chalmers is as good a on-the-ball defender as there is in the country. Excellent quickness, but more importantly, great hands. And that's an offensive foul against Hackett. We've seen this before from Mario Chalmers with his Venus flytrap hands. 
And he baited the freshman into that cheap elbow because of the ball pressure. Not only all freshmen in the Big 12 last year, a member of the all-defensive team a season ago, and you see two consecutive sequences where his defense pays off.